I just want to let y'all know it's about to get real. Back in action. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Temple back with another video. Let's go. Coming in with these videos, you feel me? <sighs> So as you guys can read from the title, today is going to be a video about roommates. The truth about roommates. Everything you need to know. I'm just going to spill it all out for you guys. Because it's always such a conflicting decision as far as roommates are concerned. And I'm just, I'm just going to let you guys know from my experience, okay? Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I know you guys have probably heard this a million times. Um... If you ever watched another YouTuber talk about this, um, they're more than likely going to tell you to choose a roommate that you do not know. And when I was watching YouTubers say this, I was like, are you serious? Like, what do I look like trying to room with somebody I don't know? But now that I'm almost done with my first year of college, I can completely like 100% back them up when I say that you need to choose a roommate you do not know, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. First off, let me go ahead and say that it is 100% possible to room with someone you do know that you are really, really cool with or even your best friend, but realize what risk you're taking and realize this sounds bad, but realize everything you don't like about that person. This is important because you guys are going to be sleeping in the same room or in the same area. Y'all are going to be around each other way more than you're around like other people for the most part. So they're going to like, you're going to see them when they're, you're, they're mad. They're going to see you when you're mad or annoyed or irritated or just don't want to be bothered. Like, I don't know. I feel like if you have like a pre-existing relationship with somebody where they've only seen the good parts of you, seeing the bad can be a little too much for them and for you. In addition to that, realize this the other way around. Like, you're going to have to deal with them when they're irritated, when they're annoyed. And I don't know about y'all, but I notice stuff that I don't like about people. And once I notice that I don't like it, it's going to irritate me once I see it, like, repeatedly. And I try, like, to not notice things like that all the time but um i mean you're gonna be in college for like what nine months eight months that's a long time to like be living with somebody if you have siblings like you know you can't stand living with them sometimes and you're so ready to get out the house so it's it's just about the same thing except this is a complete stranger and you can't like fight them all the time also get any roommate that you don't know um it can get you another person that you know on campus. It can definitely be a learning experience for you. It'll provide you with a chance to get to know somebody. Um, a lot of people skip the part in college where they meet someone and thoroughly get to know them because they've made like pre-existing like friendships with them. Like I know people nowadays do like the group chats or stuff like that. You don't get to know really someone in an intimate setting. So getting to know um, one person that you just, like, never even, like, met before. I think that would be, like, really, really cool. Next, it's important for you guys to know that with your roommate, you need to set some serious boundaries. Like, from the beginning, make sure they know, like, how your, um, sleeping schedule is, what your class schedule is, how early you have to get up in the morning, how much you plan on having people over. I know a lot of people don't like people on their bed. You need to make that known. Like, everything like that, people skip often. And it's so and so, like, so very important to know. Um, I know, like, my RAs at, at the beginning of the first semester, like, made, each, like, the roommates have a meeting with them and, like, sign a paper saying, like, this is what we want. As far as all those previous things I said are just, are concerned. And at the time, like... Nobody really thinks about it unless you're already having, like, roommate issues. But it can become an issue, like, later on. And it's just important to nip those in the bud and to make sure you have an understanding of what your roommate wants. And make sure your roommate has an understanding of what you want. And that point brings me to other things 
that you want to make sure your roommate knows as far as like health concerns or what not to do and what to do in certain situations. You also want to make sure that you're an open person, that you're open to your roommate coming to you and being like, hey, I don't like when you do this or I would prefer that you did this instead of this. Every time you and your roommate disagree about something, you don't want it to be an argument. You just want it to be a mature like discussion like what can you do to do better next time. And for example, like you stumble in at 2 o'clock in the morning and they have an 8 a.m. class. Like, of course, if the shoes are on the other foot, you wouldn't like that. So you want to be able to set that vibe where your roommate can come to you and be like, okay, well, I didn't like this. So next time, can you like come in quieter or can you like, mm, I don't know, not scream? Like, <laughs> just like little stuff like that is so important. Just make sure they know that and don't say it's okay if it's not okay because if you say it's okay and you have a problem with it, like, they're definitely not going to be able to think about the fact that you have a problem with it because you said you were okay with it. Next thing is don't be messy, okay? As far as, like, cleanliness is concerned, I don't care what you have to do. Y'all set up a chore chart. Y'all say, oh, I'm going to do the chores this week and you do them all next week or y'all do whatever y'all need to do. But if your room is messy and y'all have, like, rodents or ants and stuff in there, like, it's on the both of y'all. So they're not just gonna stay on one side of the room. No, that's not gonna happen. They're gonna come over to yours. So you need to make sure that your roommate understands like the cleanliness expectation. Make sure they know that we won't play. Cause we ain't gonna have no roaches, okay? Just let them know that ahead of time. Like, cause nobody has time to deal with that. Like, college is already stressful enough without having to deal with your roommate being nasty. And the last thing is to try to make sure that you and your roommate do a couple of fun things together just to um, build more of a bond between the two of you because you want there to be a sense of trustworthiness and a good vibe between like the both of you because you're gonna like I said have to wake up to this person in the morning and you just want the energy to be good between you and you don't want you want to be a little bit more than cordial and even on like some type of level of friendship with your roommate at least uh, in my opinion like that would be the best outcome but you guys that was it for this video comment down below if there's anything i missed or you guys want me to touch on a little bit more also comment down below if you'd rather have a roommate that you know or a roommate that you don't know or no roommate at all isn't that just the greatest option <laughs> but yeah um again thank you guys for watching this video and i'll holler at you guys in the next one I'm just passing the bridge.